James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 14th, 2022, 4.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, as you can see here, we're at the Russian Tomsk model of the Schumann residence, and it has spiked completely off the charts. We're talking about a very strong spike at around four and a half hours ago, followed by some decent spikes up to about 15 and even 20 hertz. The spike that did go off the charts, well, there's no telling how far off the charts it went. We have not been seeing a lot of Schumann residence activity on any of the models in about a week's time. I wanted to see if this corresponded in any way to what was going on over at CERN. So I did jump over there and take a look. Remember, this is four and a half hours ago. This is 2400. And this is uh, known as Tomsk time, i.e. Central Time here in the U.S., i.e. GMT, Universal Time. The most important thing is about four and a half hours ago. Let's take a look. Now, with that said, there has not been a very good correlation over the last few days. I don't know if the models are turned off or what, but exactly four and a half hours ago, both the red and blue beams went up to about 5,500 GeV. That would be about 11 TeV. Remember, the maximum of the machine is 14. So they did go that high, and that was exactly four and a half hours ago. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the spike in the Schumann, but I can see how the two could be related. I.e., the Schumann is our vibration for Mother Earth, uh, our frequency for this dimension, and this machine is actually meant to increase vibration and frequency to reach higher dimensions. So there could be some correlation. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible here in Bizarro World.